I expedition our crew members and Soyuz crew are ready here and present uh, to take final examinations. Uh, Commander, your chicken uh, flight uh, engineer, Jack Fisher. We're wishing you luck. There are two people in our crew. You see in front of you Thomas Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Uh, you'll understand why after you see the poster of our crew. What would you recommend the, the kids? You should not be afraid to set high goals. Our fate is in our hands. I think ISS is the best example of international cooperation. And we should remember that nobody is going to be able to accomplish it alone. We're working and we're performing research together as one team. So you, we need to be able to work in team. Which one was more difficult, studying language or training for the flight? Oh, Russian language. Um, our my teacher in Houston was saying the richness of the Russian language, so I speak some Russian. The first one, nothing compares to the first flight. It's like first love, first kiss, first, first is everything. What are your goals uh, for this flight? First and foremost, you see there was a question, is um, there are fewer crew members in this crew. So we have the same goals and, and purposes set for us as uh, a complete crew. So we have an intense program. We're going to have working Saturdays. We are fully aware of it. Uh, we understand that we're not going to travel there to enjoy ourselves, but we're going to go there to work. So as to the Russian segment, uh, there are a lot of maintenance activities, uh, working with the new ventilation system. Things keep developing. You see our, our module was created 15 years ago. Some equipment has... Uh, uh, needs to undergo maintenance. There will be new experiments. Unfortunately, part of the equipment will be arriving later. But I hope uh, very much uh, that during this EVA, we're going to use the new Erlan suits for the first time. Thank you very much. Uh, dear colleagues, two final questions. Oh, I love it. It's it's my second home. You know, I spent most of the last three here, three years here, and we have a nice little cottages that we live in, just about 400 yards that way. Um, people are great, and the training's been wonderful. So I really like it. Astronauts and cosmonauts always take some um, lucky charms on board. The talisman. As usual, uh, for the fifth flight, my talisman is being prepared uh, since uh, 1976. It's been traveling with me when we were graduating from high school. The teacher um, uh, gave me this uh, talisman. It uh, is in better shape than I am. It's uh, in very great shape. There will be also a very interesting toy related to Jack and myself participating uh, in different events, um, going to cancer centers. Uh, there's a program that uh, allows art uh, to help cancer patients, uh, kids. So we have a toy. Jack and myself have a toy. 
У меня мой мой дочь, младшая дочь. My youngest daughter. Uh, my daughter has cancer, and the hospital, in order to help her. And this little um, icon uh, looks like a, a sun with a bright, a very traditional, and the items uh, we're going to give to Houston, and we're going to uh, give to uh, the cancer center. So. For a second about the complexity of the training throughout this whole flow and your level of preparedness. Well, uh, hopefully we'll demonstrate that today. Uh, I think that we've had an incredible amount of training. And on this station, you do so many different activities that you can't be uh, a master of all of those. You have to just have the general skills to uh, do all the activities on the station. As far as the Soyuz, you know, it's people say, well, it's only six hours up and three or four hours down and it's most of our training because it's the most important six hours and four hours that, that most things can go wrong. And this is an incredibly reliable uh, spacecraft and that means it's incredibly complex. So we train for years uh, to make sure that we know all those systems, that we know the indications of problems and that we can switch things over when we need to uh, so that we can safely get to the station and safely get home. I hope we're ready. We'll see today. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear colleagues. A traditional photograph, Fyodor Nikolaevich, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I am 16.3, copy you. The message. Uh, Berteo, open caps. You need to be watching the displays. RPV-1 closed. Do you have a right? Yes, we have a right. Can I can I start with that? Yes, you can take all of them all at once. So that's already minus ten points. <laughs> because your pen didn't work. <laughs> so you're probably used to the markers. The conclusion depends on which side of the table you're located. Thank you. Well, things happen. We can we can start. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Jack, uh, 
Uh, you're a seasoned uh, Air Force test pilot. Uh, you've been in training for this for quite a while. What are your thoughts as you head into the home stretch now prior to launch? Oh, we're just, we're really excited about getting down to Baikonur and actually doing this for real. I think we've been training for so long. Uh, we work great as a team. Uh, hopefully you'll see that over the next two days uh, as we work through our final exams, but mostly it's just excitement. I'm, I'm really excited to get there and, and to go with someone as experienced as Kyodor Nikolaevich. It's, it's a huge honor for me. Uh, I continually learn things from him and I can't wait to be in the Soyuz floating around and learning all the other tricks that he has up his sleeve for me. Speaking of the Soyuz, uh, what are some of the most interesting things you've learned about this vehicle during the training and some of the challenges? You know, it's just the most reliable spacecraft we've we've really ever had. It's It's got so many systems and backup systems, which is what makes our training so complex because you have to understand which of those systems are working and uh, be able to transition when there is a problem. Uh, it's incredibly reliable. It's become our second home and uh, we're just excited to get in her and, and light the candle. Let's place it here. Um, dear Chairman of the Examination Commission, uh, the crew members of uh, MS-104 are ready. Okay, you're going to shake hands with everybody? You want to go first? They're, they're all standard malfunctions, just standard reports. Um, okay, we'll do. 